Today, nobody is surprised by traffic congestion, but everyone knows how much trouble it causes. The same is true for the human body. Toxins and biliary stasis, as well as the influence of other harmful factors, for example, may contribute to the onset or progression of various diseases. Primary sclerosing cholangitis is a chronic, progressive, coleostatic liver disease, which has no specific standard treatment and is related to metabolic syndrome. Primary sclerosing cholangitis is difficult to treat because its etiopathogenesis is poorly studied. Dr. Eva Wunsch, who works at the Department of Gastroenterology and Department of Clinical Molecular Biochemistry at Pomeranian Medical University in the Polish city of Chechen, performed a study on the effect of urso deoxycholic acid in the treatment of primary sclerosing cholangitis, titled Prospective Evaluation of urso deoxycholic Acid Withdrawals in Patients with Primary Sclerosing Cholangitis. UDCA shows several beneficial properties in chronic cholestasis. For primary biliary cholangitis, it is an effective standard treatment. UDCA has been also repeatedly evaluated for the management of patients with PSC, but its efficacy in this disease remains controversial. What are the results? In this study, we for the first time evaluated prospectively the effect of UDCA withdrawal in patients with PSC, including changes to liver biochemistry, serum bile acids, FGF19 profiles, quality of life, and finally, survival probability measured by the Mayo risk score. How can your work contribute to clinical practice? Discontinuation of UDCA in patients with PSC resulted in significant impairment in liver biochemistry, Mayo risk score, and influence of bile acid profiles. Moreover, 42% of patients reported increased pruritus. Our publication in Hepatology was followed by an editorial which proposed a new algorithm for the use of UDCA in patients with PSC. I think that our positive experience may be useful for specialists who are looking for ways to solve problems in the treatment of holostatic liver diseases. Why did you decide to participate in the competition? I heard about Dr. Barras' award from my colleagues and was glad to have the opportunity to participate in it with my colleagues from many other countries. But the most important reason was that such scientific competitions provide motivation to continue research.